think back to the last album that you listened to. Was it on a CD? Probably not. I don't blame it. As Tough Guy will tuck the bow points down in his 2021 article titled, Yes, You Should Still Be Buying CDs, he goes, Why? 85% of people today listen to music by streaming it. And why would you consider a format that is deemed obsolete by most people? Well, you wouldn't. And that would be fine if that decision was based on an informed perspective. Which, if most people pass the CD off as a dying, obsolete memento of the past, then I would argue that their perspective has been to go. That is why I'm here today, to attempt to slightly alter your perception of the CD, to view it not as obsolete and dying, but as something that is in the process of becoming a viable, albeit specialized, media format. I won't accomplish this by discussing three key points. Number one, the problem with people's common perception of the CD and why it matters. Number two, satisfying solution to the problem. And number three, the visualization of what that solution would do. I am credible to discuss this because I have researched this topic using sources from published authors and writers. Now, on to the false main point. What is the problem? Well, to start with, yes, the CD is drastically declining. I'm not here to argue against the decline of the CD. That's not the problem. The problem which is contributing to the decline is the general preconceived notion of the CD as just an obsolete, near-dead format for media consumption. This is a problem because this perception of the CD is not only incorrect, but it encourages people to automatically disregard the CD as a potential format without any informed consideration. The CD is, as veteran member of the recording industry, Bobby Owensky writes in his 2013 article titled Three Reasons Why the CD is Still Important, quote, the CD is rapidly diminishing in importance, but important it still is. The CD has diminished even more since 2014, but it's shown growth in other more specialized areas, such as indie music. Jared Newman informs us by writing in his 2018 article titled The CD Business Isn't Dying, It's Just Evolving, that the CD in the indie music world is, quote, thriving with sales for certain online stores and CD distributors increasing yield. For the moment, Rolling Stone reporter Steve Knopf will echo this in his 2018 article title titled The End of Only Music, How CDs and Downloads Die, that, quote, touring bands still find it far easier to sell a portable CD as a console or mental uh, than an LP or portable hard drive. This shows that the CD, while diminishing, is still alive and even growing as a specialized format. However, most people are not informed about this. Therefore, this is important for people because, as Buchanan Public Relations staff member Maggie Rubel points out in a 2017 article titled The Importance of Staying Informed, Quote, being informed about what is happening makes us better people and professionals. Now, to clarify, this was written in the context of worldwide events and not CDs, but the general message is still applicable. Being informed is good, and that is why people should care about at least knowing the reason why they are making the decision they are making. Now that I discussed the problem and why people should care, let me go on to my next point, which is the solution. What is the solution? Well, the ultimate goal is simple, to slightly alter people's perception of the CD to view it not as a dying form format, but as a still viable but specialized form format. The solution not only already exists, but it is showing growing results. That solution is, as previously touched on, the indie music world, or more specifically what the indie music world has shown the CD to have potential to be, a specialized media format. So the solution is in motion. The CD is transitioning. What could be done to help that transition? Well, here's one example. Target the CD manufacturers and distributors to make or expand deals with indie artists that purchase CDs. These deals could range from anything from giving them a discounted price to simply have eye-catching physical elements that are unique to, to the CD to call no attention. By applying some of these options, indie artists would be encouraged to emphasize the CD even more than what they already do. Uh, selling more CDs to fans would accelerate the solution while simultaneously exposing and slightly altering the perception of CDs for new fans. Now that I've discussed the solution to the problem, let me move on to my final point, which is the visualization of what this, would, this solution would look like. Ideally, not much would actually change in the grand scheme of things. 
people would simply recognize and acknowledge the CD as a viable, albeit specialized, format. They would, even just for a second, consider the CD when making a media or purchase. In the beginning, most of these, these decisions, regardless of what format they choose, would most likely take place at the venues of up and coming indie artists. However, ideally, it would eventually expand to many different musical transactions. In conclusion, the CD is still alive as a transitioning, viable, specialized media for format. We talked about the problem of people's perception of the CD and how that perpetuates an uninformed view. We then discussed the promising ongoing of the uh, solution of the CD as a specialized uh, format for indie artists. And finally, we looked at what the future would be like if people slightly altered their perception of the CD, and just to give it a fair chance. As my final closing thought, I would like to ask everyone here to spend just a few seconds considering the CD the next time you're given the option. Don't necessarily choose it, but at least consider it. Thank you.